What's good guys, you are back on my YouTube channel. I told you I'll be back, I told you I'll be consistent. And this week guys, I wanna walk you through exactly what I do for my hair, my hair routine every morning and how I apply my hair products. Just a little bit of how I style my hair. I know you guys have been asking for this for a long, long time. So lo and behold, here I am, and we're gonna be doing all of that today as well. I wanna be showing you guys uh, my new cosmetic brand, Aesthetic Cosmetics, and exactly how I apply the products from Aesthetic Cosmetics onto my scalp to protect my hair from DHT and hair loss. You're looking at a max of maybe five minutes just to get ready, and it's such a simple routine that anyone can really do it at home. So um, we're gonna show you exactly now, step one, so let's do it. Um, I would start off with just using the straighteners, taking it through my hair. Um, as you can see, my hair's got a natural wave and a kink to it, and I, when I run the straighteners through it, um, I'll show you now, but I don't do the whole parts, I just do bits and pieces. And I'm always styling my hair in a different way. So today, I might choose to wear my hair down, but um, other days, I choose to wear my hair up, so it really, really depends on how I blow dry it, how I straighten it, and um, how I'm feeling on the day. You know, if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna train, I'll keep the hair down, you know, if, I, if I've got something formal or a business meeting, I'll, I'll keep the hair up. And I'm almost done, guys. It's literally just that simple, just a few strands. I like to leave most of it um, just natural with the natural waves and kinks. So that's done with the um, hair straightener. Just like that. How long did that take? Like two minutes? Two minutes, guys. Very, very quick. Uh, this step here is involving using the hairdryer, so, and this will just help to hold my hair and keep the kinks out of it in a certain direction. So, trusty, handy dandy comb. As you can see, so I've just blow dried it up now, so it's, it's standing up, the hair's sitting exactly how it needs to sit. Um, it's looking really good and now the next step is we put our products in the hair and then we're going to apply the hair serum and I'm going to talk a little bit about how the hair serum works towards the end of the video. So let's do it. Uh, the first product that I use as you can see is just a plain rock wax. I just like to put a moderate amount into my hands and as you can see from the video now I'm just rubbing in the product into my hands. I'm making sure that it's evenly spread in my fingers and in my palms. I'm just going to gently run my hands through my hair. I'm going to run my hands through the crown of my hair, through the sides, through the fringe, and I'm going to make sure the product is in there nice and thorough. Um, the final step is very easy, guys. I just grab my styling powder, which is um, an uppercut deluxe. And again, guys, you just want to put a generous amount onto your palms. And once you've done that, again, you just want to rub your hands. And after you've rubbed your hands, you just want to run your hands through your hair with the fibers in the hand. Um, essentially, that's the morning routine finished, guys. And then it's just about now applying the RU58841 uh, hair growth serum from Aesthetic Cosmetics. And then we're good to go for the rest of the day. Are we rolling? I think we are. I think we are. Okay. Life. I'm going to introduce, I'm going to start it off, guys. Welcome to the podcast studio. I'm going to introduce my good friend, my brother, John Nassif, part of the Aesthetics Cosmetics team. Um, he's a great guy, and I'm just going to pass it over to him as he introduces himself and uh, says a little bit about himself. It's amazing intro, Seth. Appreciate it. So, like I said, said um, obviously I'm a part of the team. Obviously, one of the owners would say it, another guy would the group. I guess. It was a year in the making what you just mentioned. So it's, it's been about a year and a half, yeah. Yeah, it's been it's look, it's been it's gone very fast, but it's been a lot of action during that year and a half. And I think the great thing I guess how this all came apart is uh, came together, sorry. Every man's got, I guess, at a time in their life insecurities. Exactly. Say it, you're no different. Let's no, be real. No, no. I mean, I think you're in a good place now, I know. Oh definitely. <laughs> but I think <laughs> I we found so. I think I think we found our common ground, John. And uh, let me just start off by telling the viewers, um, you know, me and John found a lot of common ground when uh, I met him at the gym and, you know, we were both voicing and concerning our opinions regarding hair loss. We were both looking for anything and everything we can do to get our hair back. Yeah, answers is the word, I guess. That's, that's literally like, and I think Say's put in a few of his videos over the last years. There are a lot of different things out there. I think you just mentioned it earlier in the bathroom. In, in the shop. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. there's so many things that work. There's so many things laser, that laser don't work. Laser treatments. Yeah. Like, I've, I've tried it all, John. So I've been to laser hair removal. Um, laser clinics rather, um, advanced hair, Ashley Martin. I've paid loads and loads of money, man. I remember paying six grand for a one year's worth of treatment with lasers. That's and they promised yeah. me, they sat me down and they tried to lie to me, showing me photos of before and after, like, 
like they'll take him photos of me every month, yeah? So he's day one, month one, day two, month two, day three, month three. And they're trying to tell me they're trying that to my hair's you on it. Yeah. Well, no, they're trying to show because I was already doing the process and I was getting placed every week. And they're trying to tell me at the end of this like, treatment, after the whole year I came back to them, I'm like, guys, my hair looks exactly the same. And they're trying to tell me that their proof that it grew back was sitting me down and get this guys. Their proof was sitting me down and showing me photos of my hair growing back from month one, month two, month three. But really, my hair was just growing. It wasn't like the same length. It wasn't like a number two. Or the one. length was coming. The out. length was it coming was out. Length. It was if you had cut forward. my hair short, it would look exactly the same. You know, and I, I was trying to explain that to them, and they wouldn't listen to me. It's as if they knew my hair more. But than have me. you thought of this? Sometimes those clinics, before you come in, Photoshop your photos too. Of course. So because they know you come in, they've got to prove why they have sold your package, which should work. Of course, and I actually, John, like, I actually don't know how half these clinics are operating legally. I, I actually don't know. But, that, but that's the sad part. It is legal, and the, the funny thing is you mentioned you went through the, the hassle of it. You put six grand, coughed yeah. up six grand, yeah. you've gone in. Getting to that decision, and I think there's a lot of you watching this video where you're on the fence and you want to do something about your hair, but taking that step is very difficult. Because been... people don't know what to trust stuff. Yeah, there, you're not, these, you're not, these yeah. clinics and these places, like, they, they, they don't give people much trust and much confidence into, into trying things so I, 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 we get it guys we yeah, do everyone understands that we understand and the thought process behind you taking the step i'll give you a bit of my example i like i was living in dubai for years ago and i was losing my hair due to work-related stress um, lifestyle obviously choices and i was getting to point like i had to do something so those options of laser clinics um yeah, hair, hair, you try all those to... things man like between so your that's that's what i'm getting at you took that step I was in a different position where I wanted to make the step, but I wasn't sure. So I'm similar to maybe some of you, some of the viewers uh, on here, where not sure if it's real, mm. and you don't know. So the only part is when me and Sabe kind of linked up the first time. You know, we kind of bonded, had this talk about this topic, and the you know the, the insecurity discussion of you know of hairs falling out. You want to kind of regrow it, restore it. You know, it's a super touchy subject. It's very hard. We, we understand. Because making that first step is the hardest. And look, lucky for me, like as, as a friend of the brother you are, um, you gave me that convincing reason why I should commit. Mm. So as we did that, I think that's how this brand started to shape and form. Like say it had, obviously he had the uh, his idea of doing something with hair. I think he has something, uh, Hair of the Gods got... Yeah, I had, yeah, so the idea was I wanted to release this product. And I had a few different names for it. So Hair of the Gods got here. Um, as you guys would have seen on my social media, I was playing around with the idea in the business for a year and a half. And, you know, it's just very lucky that I've, I've been blessed with some good friends in my life that, you know, I've come along to see my vision, to share my vision, and then together I've actually been able to come together and wanting to help and solve hair loss once and for all. Yeah, and I you think... Know? Like, we're sick of it. We're sick of these fake companies. We're sick of everyone ripping it, like, people left, right, and center. We're sick of these fake laser clinics. Like, I'm, I'm tired, man. I, I stand for what's real. I, I would not ever release anything, John. And this is, I, I'll say this the day I die, that doesn't work. Simple as that. Yeah, so look, I think we had one discussion, I think it was in my house one time, remember that night? We were talking and I think you were gonna do something similar like that. We, well, we wanted to turn into a whole cosmetic. Yeah, so, so and I think I think that's where I came, I said, I said, I've got this idea of doing men's cosmetics. I remember we sat on the couch and I think I said the word aesthetics, you straight light bulb. Aesthetic cosmetics. Yeah, I go, it aesthetic, us, I said, we're gonna call it aesthetic and this guy goes, Cosmetics. That day was the day that we knew. It was that night? Yeah. And sh I think from that moment, we, I mean, this was, like you said, more than a year ago. We I remember us, I was sitting there, like, end the day, we, we were owners of this business. And it was like it's like a little baby to us. Mm. And there are a lot of a lot of you guys don't see. Lot, that. They lot, don't see that. There are a lot of setbacks. But and we want we, we want them to understand really, like. Yeah. It hasn't been an easy road. Why, why don't you tell them? Yeah. No. I'm probably <laughs> not. No one's better than me at the moment telling some of the setbacks because <laughs> I think we've gone through this together and it's just crazy. So even small things. I've got the beard kit in my hand and. We had that dream, yeah, we're gonna do something for hair, but much we larger. We wanted to cover everything on the face, guys. We didn't just want to cover hair, we wanted to cover beard as well. Correct. And eventually, we want to do skincare. So, as you can see, John, John's just holding yeah. the beard kit there. Yeah, no, no, please, guys. Just show so, obviously, but I think where we separate was we had, we had the discussion. I was like, we need to really take this serious. We put our own hard money into this. Like, I'm saying a lot of money to make sure when we put this I'm together. I'm so broke, guys, it's not even funny. Buy my products, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, even small things with the box design, this is just the beard kit which I wouldn't say it's our main product we're trying to put out there it's just more of a filler like something to support you today but you got your derma roller in here you got your beard serum and these are just small things we wanted to put together because 
it all ties down to aesthetics. Aesthetics, hair. Like end of the day, we're, we're promoting yeah hair strength. We've got a derma roll for the scalp. I give you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good example. Like I'll probably give you a before photo to, to upload. Even with what are we doing now, guys? While while we're doing this yeah. video, um, you're gonna see a photo on the screen pop up of uh, John's before and after hair transformation. Absolutely. And we're gonna see on my, on the screen pop up now. We're gonna see my hair transformation too. So you can see, guys. We actually lived through experience. We've been through this. We've lost our hair. We've tried everything to get our hair back, and we know what works and we know what doesn't. So yeah, we look, are here to spread the message. That's all it is, man. And having said that, look, we saw our own problems, trying to solve it for ourselves, but we knew everyone else is on the same journey. Mm. So this is this is one of the core reasons why we're making sure we're putting a lot of work, a lot of effort. Like we're here today in, this, in the podcast studio right now, yeah. trying to get this message out. So speaking of the message, should we show them how I use the hair serum? Because uh, I think a lot of guys want to see. And I think we've definitely explained that a lot on social media, on Instagram, on the website. But I think, um, before I do, I, I know you've got a few things to say, but I think um, I definitely want to show the guys um, just how I use it and how simple it is. Because it's such an easy process, bro. It takes like a minute, two minutes max of the day. Honestly, if you, really, want, if you really want to do it, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds if we really want to be critical. Because it's such a simple, easy step that literally anyone can add this in before they walk out the door every morning of their house. You know what I mean? We're we want to build a community, guys. Yeah. We want to build a male online community to empower men to make men feel good to let men know that it's okay to look after your parents to let men feel confident to look after their parents and to motivate inspire and drive the next generation of men into looking after themselves and um, you know just taking taking some action with their appearance because I don't care what people say man first impressions are everything and your first impressions is your first foot forward so if you, you want to give the best version of yourself to the world everything comes so look i think the key thing before we kind of where we want to take the brand is like you mentioned community empowering people but to help do that i think that's what part of my job is trying to help us get some of those products the right products we're putting our ideas together out to out to you guys in the community so you can use these tools to your advantage so like i said we've got the hair serum which is the number one goal while we're in this the beard kits we're looking at bringing our skincare routine which say just mentioned mm -hmm. and that's a little bit of a surprise but um a we won't say what's in it though don't yeah, keep it for a surprise. yeah it's just skincare but it's gonna be cool you guys it's, it's gonna be soon. something very different um mm -hmm. and then obviously there'll be other ideas like whoop, potentially we're looking into shampoos things of that nature but this is Everything. a long roadmap so we're not here for a short short term thing guys we're here to really support every male out there and we want all you guys to be a part of the community you know join the facebook page join the groups on instagram um, we're always, you know, we're, we're working really hard guys behind the scenes to release lots of content. We don't ask for anything, we just, you know, you guys don't even have to come and get the products, but just come educate yourself on, on hair loss, on DHT. And, learn, you know, it's education. And just come learn. and learn. That's all we're asking. Come and learn and then make your own informed decisions. And and, and the day, look, I think I've, I've put this message, you've put this message into the team that we've got. Like, we have people, you know, on the page running them. We want to make sure they reply to everyone. They discuss. So if you have questions, slide in them DMs. Yeah. Don't be, don't in, be shy, put a, guys. Put a comment even on, say, his YouTube channel. So like I said, don't feel like, you know, you have to wait for the content. If there's a question that's pressing you, come in. And Ask guys, us. we completely understand, like, confidentiality. We know this is a touchy subject for a lot of men. We understand that, um, and we, we cater to that as well. We do have a lot of clients who send in the before and afters. We've had over 20, 30 guys already in just the space of a month, John, setting before and afters. Yeah, four incredible. Six weeks, really. Let's again, guys, we're just going to chuck up these before and afters on this YouTube video because I think this is very important. important very and important. you guys have a look at these results. You know, these transformations are real. I'll give you hand to heart. Every transformation on our page is a legit review, and when customers use these and products, hey, if, if they don't believe us, we, we tag every we, person in our transformation all the time. On the I even ask the guys, I'm like, hey man, I'm putting your name on my Instagram story, and you're, you're gonna have a whole bunch of fanboys message you asking about your hair. It's really Are you cool with that? Yeah. And you know what they say, bro? They're happy. Ninety percent, they're happy because we've changed their life. Couldn't because they've learned this is not, you know, this is not, you know, it's not a business, traditional business. Where it's just a couple, few guys who are the owners want to just sell products and just make money. No, we're like, once you buy this. You're a part of the family, part of the team, part of the company. And anything you need moving forward, like you said, we're always very approachable. Mm -hmm. So I kind of leave it at that. We're the cool kids on the blog just sort of wanting to help people get their hair back. And that's that's all it is to it, guys. So um, with that in mind, we're going to wrap up this uh, podcast studio. We hope that you guys have had an informative uh, video today. We hope that you've taken away something from this video um, in, our, in our products, in our, in, you know, how to style and do your hair uh, we hope you learned something but um there will definitely be more videos in the future guys coming from me coming from uh, john over here in uh, discussing our products discussing our future products and also just talking about all that jazz the love we've received the feedback is, is, is yeah. 
I could never have compromised. Money can't put anything on us. No, no, no. That, that feeling is no, it's just fulfilling. We've sold over 500 products plus just within, within the launches, and this is just the beginning. And I'm very grateful to everyone. We want to say thank you guys. So it actually comes I've on said thank you like 10 times, but I'll keep saying thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I'm super grateful. And so is John, and so is everyone that's on board. So, no, we will. Um, big, big things, guys. Great to hear from us, but um, listen, stay tuned. Check it out guys, we'll see you for the next YouTube video next week.